stand by. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Hello, everybody. Good morning, Mr. President. The, uh, who, who am I speaking with? Uh, this is Charles Elashi, the director of JPL, and we have a room full of the mission operation uh, personnel. Uh, uh, this is Curiosity Mission Operation on Mars. Well, it is great to talk to all of you, and I just want you to know that uh, uh, we could not be more excited uh, about what you've been doing. Uh, somebody uh, asked me uh, the other day whether you've already found Martians. Uh, I told them, you know, you have to give, we have to give you a little bit of time, uh, but uh, uh, we, we, we know you're all hard at work, and you're getting some well-deserved rest after a successful landing, and... I just wanted to call and, and say congratulations to the entire uh, Mars Science Laboratory team and, and really all of JPL on, on last Monday's incredible success. You know, you're, you know, through your dedicated effort, Curiosity stuck her, land, her landing and, and captured the attention and imagination of, of millions of people, uh, not just across our country, but people all around the world, uh, including Times Square. And, you know, what you did on Mars was incredibly impressive. Uh, those uh, 76 pyrotechnics going off in perfect succession. Uh, and the, the 500,000 lines of code working exactly the way you guys uh, had ordered them. So, you know, it, it's really mind-boggling what you've been able to accomplish and, and being able to get that whole landing sequence to work uh, the way you did. Uh, is is a testimony to your team. So I, I especially want to congratulate uh, Charles Lachi, uh the head of JPL, uh, the, the entry, descent, and landing lead, uh, Adam Steltzner, uh, who helped devise the final step of this amazing descent, uh, the, the, you know, the sky crane system. What, what you accomplished embodies the American spirit, and your passion and your commitment is making a difference. And your hard work uh, is now paying dividends because uh, my, our expectation is that uh, Curiosity is going to be uh, telling us things that uh, we did not know before and laying the groundwork for uh, an even more audacious undertaking in the future, and that's a human mission to the Red Planet. So um, I understand there's a special Mohawk guy that's working on the mission. <laughs> <laughs> You know, he, he, he seems to have been uh, one of the many stars on the, of the show last Sunday night. And, uh, uh, you know, I've, I've in the past thought about uh, getting a mohawk myself. But, uh, <laughs> uh, my, my, my team keeps on discouraging me. Uh, and uh, now that he's received marriage proposals and thousands of new Twitter followers, I think that uh, I'm, I'm going to go back to my team and, and see if it makes sense. But... Uh, it, it, that's going to be the new fashion yeah, at JPL. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> it, it does sound like uh, NASA's come a long way from the white shirt, black, uh, dark rim glasses, and the pocket protection. You know, the uh, you guys are, are, are a little cooler than you used to be. But uh, <laughs> as, as, as all of you know, uh, my administration put a big focus on improving science and technology, engineering, and math education. And this is the kind of thing that inspires kids uh, across the country. You know, they're telling their moms and dads they want to be uh, part of a, a Mars mission, maybe even the first person to walk on Mars. And, and, and that kind of inspiration is the, the byproduct of, of work uh, of the sort that you guys have done. So uh, not only do I want to congratulate the team, uh, I want to call out a few of the leaders uh, of the group, including Adam, but also... Uh, Peter uh, Theisinger, Richard Cook, uh, John Grosinger, uh, John Grunsfeld, uh, and I'd like to congratulate and thank all of our international partners, Spain, Russia, Germany, France, Canada, Italy, Japan, Australia. All of them contributed, I know, to the instrumentation Curiosity landed uh, on the Martian surface, and uh, all the scientists who were part of the JPL team. So you, you guys have done an outstanding job. You made us all proud. You've made uh, you know, NASA uh, proud. You guys are 
uh, you know, examples of, of American know-how and ingenuity, and it's really an amazing accomplishment. So we can't wait to start uh, uh, hearing back from Curiosity and finding out what uh, uh, what's going on. We're fortunate to be part of a society that can reach beyond our planet and explore frontiers that uh, were only imagined by our ancestors. So it, it's inspiring to all of us. Uh, I'm going to give you guys a personal commitment to protect these critical investments in science and technology. Uh, I thank you for devoting your lives to this cause, and uh, if, uh, if in fact, uh, you do make uh, contact with Martian, please let me know right away. <laughs> uh, because uh, I've, got, uh, I've got a lot of other things on my plate, but I suspect that uh, that will go to the top of the list. <laughs> even, even, if they're, even if they're just... Even if they're just microbes, uh, it will be pretty exciting. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. President. And on behalf of all of us at NASA, we thank you for taking the time to give us a call. And hopefully we inspire some of the millions of young people who were watching this landing. Thank you again. Well, uh, you've already inspired us, but I know that uh, uh, the photographs that are going to start coming back are, are going to be remarkable and amazing. And uh, again, you, you guys should be remarkably proud. It, uh, you know, the, it, it's really what makes us uh, best uh, as, as a species is, is this, this curiosity that we have uh, and uh, this yearning to, to discover and, and know more and, and push the boundaries uh, of, of knowledge. And, uh, you know, you are uh, perfect examples of that, and uh, uh, we couldn't be more grateful to you. So congratulations. Keep up the great work. Thank you very much, and have a good day. Okay. Bye-bye, guys. Bye. Thank you.